everyone and welcome back to the very last episode in my hunt for all the Destiny Year 1 exotics. So for the past three weeks or so I've been running tons of Crota Raids, finally hoping to just get this crux of Crota so that I can finally get the last exotic that I need, which is the Necrochasm. So after running about 13 to 14 Crota Raids, I did finally get extremely lucky and managed to get my crux of Crota. So finally after about two months of running this series, we can finally check this Necrochasm off the list. I do have the Edian Alley as of right now, and I will be working to upgrade that before the Taken King releases so that I can finally go ahead and get that Necrochasm. Now, the only gun that I could possibly get before the end of this year would be the Icebreaker. Now, I do run all three Nightfalls as well as some Prison of Elders and Raids as well, trying to get the Icebreaker, but unfortunately, I just haven't managed to be able to get this thing to drop yet. I just don't think I'm going to be able to get this thing before the Taken King's launch in a few days. So, Overall, I did manage to get almost every single exotic. I am just missing one, unfortunately. But honestly, overall, I would say this series was a success because I did manage to get a ton of the exotics that I still didn't, didn't have before the Taken King launched. So the only thing I have left to do now is put on these last three upgrades on this Edian Alley and apply that Crux of Crota so that I can finally go ahead and get myself the Necrochasm. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this three-month-long series on my hunt to get all of the Year 1 exotics. Hopefully we can go ahead and run a series like this for the year 2 exotics in a few weeks once the Taken King has been out for a little while and the raid gets released this Friday. So stay tuned for a complete tour of my Destiny Vault coming out later today and I'll catch you guys in that video later on. Peace.